So PSG restarted the league on season. Oh, as you can see with a victory. It wasn't easy though, was it? The last minute penalty from Kylian Mbappe to win. I was like, what's going on here? So I was watching City. Uh, the missus was watching the White Lotus. I had the PSG game. It was all a bit crazy in the house. And I was like, what's going on? They scored early. Marquinhos, Neymar assist. Then Neymar gets sent off. And then... Strasbourg score, a bit of freakish goal, deflected cross in. I mean, I was like, oh my God, don't, don't tell me now after France losing the World Cup final. Oh, now woe, PSG was, don't... woe was me, eh? Woe was me. I know, exactly. Woe like, was me. <laughs> uh, and then Kylian right at the end scores a pen, the communion with the fans, which has not always been the case. Yeah. The Padre Prince for him, the celebration, Hakimi showing the shirt, all of that. They've got a new song for him. Uh, it's, it was in the end. In the end, it was good. Yeah. So I was happy. Then I of went course. to bed happy. I can see. I can see. I can see <laughs> happiness. I can see it. It's very clear. And Ned, as I just mentioned, Neymar got sent off in the game. The first yellow, two yellows. The first one was like he kind of barged the, his, the, 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 the midfielder. Second was for bad dive, bad by dive. the way. And then he left the stadium. So he got sent off, come back to the dressing room, take his stuff, I guess, and then leaves. Before the end of the game, what would you, as a former player, no, what do you I'm make? I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that at all. I think you can, you can, people know him personally. People in his team know him personally, and they yeah. know they'd be disappointed because he's made a mistake or whatever. He might think he's been wronged for the first yellow, but definitely not for the second. Definitely not. But you kind of want to see them after the game because I don't want an apology. And every time somebody does apologize when they're sent off, you say it's okay. Yeah, yeah. But it's like an acknowledgement that there was a mistake which they made themselves. And I think for him to leave the stadium. Like he's not had that moment to celebrate that last minute goal to win the match itself. He wasn't part of that whole group. Yeah, yeah. And you know, you will overcome it, but you will be very, very disappointed, I think. I just think that you let your team down by getting sent yeah. off the way you did. Then mm. you let them down again by not being there when they kind of needed all the support from everybody, the bench, the staff, the yeah. fans, everything. Yeah. And you will let them down because you missed the next game against Lens, who are second in the table away on Sunday, yeah. which is a big game. So I'm just like, uh, I, I don't get it. Know. Maybe, maybe the traffic's bad. Maybe he's got plans this weekend. Apparently he was there. frustrated. Listen, we can all be frustrated and not go into our cars. You can sit down and be frustrated and just wait. But maybe I'm missing the point. But anyway, speaking of points, one last point on PSG or yeah. PSG. Uh, Marco Verratti has officially extended his contract with the club jewels. How long oh, for? Oh, no, yeah, until 2026. So he arrived as in 2012. Uh, as a 19 year old at the time from Serie B from Pescara straight to PSG and so he's been really like almost a one man club yeah. to be fair all that time in Paris he's had injuries before and we know he's some ups and downs but mostly it was he's been an amazing player to watch for us as PSG yeah. fans so I'm glad he extended his contract he's 30 now he's going to probably finish in Paris for the club. I mean, he can still maybe, I guess, go back to Italy, but right now I would say he probably feels more Parisian than, yeah. than anything else, you know? Yeah. So I'm glad, I'm glad they, they tied him up to a new deal. I think it's a really good thing. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.